you guys it's Eo welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and for today's video I'll be sharing my hair transformation journey which is an ash blonde balayage of course I'll also be sharing my after hair care tips which is very important if you bleach your hair or if your hair is a salon treated hair so let's go so here's my hair before the transformation and as you can see my previous hair color and bleach have already grown out to be brassy also my hair looks dry it looks frizzy this is why I really need a salon appointment as up I need some retouches and I need that glow up as an indecisive girl I knew I had to decide on the look and color I wanted days before going into the salon so it's been a year since I've had my hair done in a salon because you know how much I love DIYs but this time I really wanted it to be different from my previous hairstyles so I opted for something bold which is a blonde balayage I'm kind of scared since I'm not really sure if it will fit my morena skin tone but we're gonna do it and let's see what happens the salon i visited was Tishalize beauty studio so this is my second time in this salon the first time they did my hair i literally fell in love with it that's why i'm back here and for their assessment with my hair it's around 5,000 pesos this is because i still need some color correction and the peg that i wanted was a level 9 lifting of blonde it's still cheaper though compared to prices in manila that starts at 7,000 and up another tip that i would recommend is to communicate effectively what color or what peg you want to achieve so as for me i kept showing the pictures that i wanted so that atewena which is the hairstylist really knows what the outcome i want the whole process only took about four hours which is amazing because my previous experience with the balayage it took about eight hours now diving into my hair color in detail the peg that i showed you you can see that it's more of a blonde brownish color but atiwena mentioned that we have to make it darker at first so that when it fades it looks nice just like the peg so the pegs that I showed her are actually faded colors already. Okay, I hope you get that, but I'm trying my best to explain my hair color as detailed as possible so that when you want to try it out for yourself, you get the whole gist. And this is the final look. It exceeded my expectations. I love it so much. Thank you, Atawena, for doing your best to achieve my dream hair. I cannot wait to see how the color fades. I cannot wait to style this. I'm just so in love. Two months later, and this is how my hair looks like. And can I just say that I am still super duper in love. I love how the color faded. I love that even if it's bleach, even after that salon visit, it's still so smooth, silky, and looking healthy. This is because I really invested in my hair this time. Like, I invested with the products that I'm using. I invested with taking care of it. So here are my after hair care tips to maintain that silky, smooth, healthy hair that really changed the game for me. So for the first one is, of course, to use a purple shampoo if you don't know yet what a purple shampoo is it's literally a shampoo that is color purple why because it helps to neutralize the yellow tones and the brassiness of your blonde or bleach hair so yes this is a very very important hair care tip to replace your regular shampoo with a purple one i suggest that you don't do this every day because that's gonna turn your blonde hair to some Something darker just use it whenever you feel like your hair is turning yellow or like orangey which we don't like sister so before we jump into tip number two let me tell you guys a quick story that after my balayage my salon visit I really experienced damage like my hair 
hair was really weak that to the point it breaks and there was a lot of hair fall and the number one thing that I was really conscious about was the dryness of my hair which of course results into frizz so all those hair problems I've experienced so moving on to tip number two and this is one of the most important thing is to invest in your conditioner this is why I use none other than the cream silk salon expert daily treatment series so I love this so much that I actually have two variants with me so I have here the keratin rebond straight and the keratin damage repair so let's dive into how to use this product and its ingredients so for directions after shampoo massage through hair especially on ends rinse well after one minute and for best results use every day and then for the ingredients this product has keratin and collagen so for keratin it's known to deeply restore each hair strand and for collagen it's known to lock in nutrients and moisture that my hair absolutely needs so let's go and dive into the other product which is the keratin rebound straight so for the ingredients it's keratin and amino infusion so that's the difference amino infusion is known to boost straightness smoothness and shine so this is what my hair looks like after showering this is air dried the hair and you can see how still smooth and silky it looks like compared to my previous after shower hair it's totally dry and frizzy so yeah when i discovered this product like it literally changed the game for me some people even think that i use the dyson air wrap just because my hair looks so smooth and silky but i tell them that, no i don't use it i use a regular curling iron and they're so like how it's just this <laughs> no really though you have to try this for yourself especially if you have bleach hair like me or if you have salon treated hair and the product also comes in this type of packaging which is perfect for travels i use this whenever i go to the beach definitely must have so i love that it goes with this type of packaging love 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 this it really hydrates and repairs my hair and most importantly the scent it's so good and it stays the whole day tip number three would be if you're the type who also loves to curl your hair blow dry your hair you have to use heat protectant spray so this product protects your hair from heat damage this is what you put before you curl your hair or like before you introduce it to heat such as blow drying straightening your hair and curling it you have to use heat protectant spray and for the last tip go and get your hair trimmed it's very important to trim your hair every now and then especially if you're already seeing split ends don't make it worse just go get a haircut and that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching and i hope to see you again on my next video bye chicas love lots